Okay, right now I'm living my teen dream. Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Let me introduce myself. My name is Clarence, I'm a fashion designer and I've just decided to follow my dream and start a YouTube channel. This is my first video. And yes, I'm a little bit scared. Yes, I'm a little bit stressed. But I have to be honest, I'm too excited to finally follow a dream. Today I want to talk about knitting and I want to share with you how to make this cable sweater. Actually, I am in love with this sweater because it's maybe the most friendly beginner sweater I've already made since the really basic sweater everybody can make or if you don't know, I can make also a video because it's a sweater I love. Yeah, literally it's one of my favorite sweater. Actually, it's snowing in my country so if I wear it, it's layering with another sweater because it's really too cold outside. But I'm in love! I've decided to design a sweater who is really beginner friendly because I know a lot of people love crafting now. We love creating our own clothes and I can understand not everybody is able to always buy and make clothes because they are more expensive than if you buy them from a fast fashion store for example. I've decided to present you this sweater actually you can make it with needles if you want knit it. You can also crochet this sweater if you want or if you have a central machine this sweater can be completely made with a central machine. I made it with a central machine. I've also made a pattern cause I don't want get keep that. So if you want make the sweater, you want try to make it, I put in the description box the link where is the PDF pattern. I think I talked a little bit too much, so I will let you just with the video. technique for to put my project and also for to remove it from the machine it's so much easier especially for to make the finishing at the end you have to try it if you have with a central machine but it's really a life changer especially because i realized we can make really hard stuff even if it's like a child stuff i don't know how to explain but it's really good to make my sweater with this machine it's what I prefer I know a lot of people use the tube technique but you can use tube when you are like really thin personally I'm plus size and I love the fact that with the panels if you make it right you can really add a lot of difference and it's super funny just or maybe with something who is small you can make big panel like if it was a professional machine it's really cool
love the green because it's like a pear green and it's really beautiful and I love to make this little effect at the hand <laughs> impression I realized this sweater in one day instead of a weekend I've changed my spot cause I don't like to stay always on the same spot so this spot is actually in a makeover so it's really not finished this is new before it was completely white but doesn't matter the front and the back I just didn't knit the sleeves and the neck cause I think I will did it at the hand these are the back the two panels I've made for to make them easier so I will just fix them together having the stripes match the best as I can when I will have fixed that we will work with the front the front is pretty simple Using the invisible stitch technique for to fix two panels together is really long but in the same time the result it's just so professional. I love doing this technique because it gives to your product really more professional finishing and it also really relaxing so personally I love doing these taps in the evening actually for to fix the front and the back uh, panels I it took me literally two evenings because it's really long you have to be focused but in the same time you don't have really to think you have just to look your your work and after when I had to fix the sleeve etc it was really more faster but I just love this technique because you don't see the seam actually when you when you fix your panels with the crochet you can see where you fix it and it's not so cute actually I don't really like the result so if I have an advice to give you it's really use an invisible stitch technique for it to sew your yarn it will be so much better you
I don't know what happened. I was determined yesterday. I don't know. I simply didn't see the time. I think I spent too much time on TikTok. I I will finish the sweater because I won't start a new week with this sweater and even if we're Monday it's never too late, especially because I love the color and I really want to wear it. I've made the cable and it looks like this. I really love the vibe. So now we have to knit the sleeves and fix the shoulders and make the neck and fix everything. Today we have to make it. Let's go guys. I've spent one hour but not knitting. I've literally spent more than an hour on TikTok. I don't know why when I have a notification, sometimes I just turns on my phone and then I don't know how it's possible. I spend my time on Pinterest or TikTok. It's not even normal. Guys, I've completely forgot to film the end of this video, but thank you so much for having followed all the process creation for this sweater. And I want to just say thank you and see you next week for a new video.